Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally filming my small handbag collection. I am keeping up with my made up naming system, okay, because a lot of these have mini in the title. I'm sure you won't be surprised about which ones they are, but I'm thinking with a small handbag, like this can fit all of the essentials and then easily a catch all pouch. Any of these could hold a phone charger. It holds all of the like little extras that you want to bring with you in an everyday bag. So starting out with one of my favorite classic handbag styles. This is the Fendi Mini Peekaboo. Um, this was a special edition, the Lunar New Year collection. Love this style so much that I actually got it twice. This was a surprise gift from my husband. I went to the boutique intending to get it for myself, but he knew how much I wanted it. He knew that I had been debating between this and like a few other bags, and I obviously couldn't get them all if I was getting this for myself. So when we were there, when I decided to buy it, he, he surprised me by, by paying for it. But really one of the most versatile classic styles, I think from any brand and shout out to Ben right now, <laughs> like this darling man. I, when I tell you that I had been looking at this for weeks, I was looking at it every single day. And <laughs> I was showing him the picture being like, do you like this? What do you think of the color? Do you think it will go with my wardrobe? And, Ben listened, he like, not only did he listen to me ranting like a lunatic about this bag, okay, but we have measuring cups. We, we have these measuring cups that we were thinking were a very, very similar color to this bag. This is so ridiculous. Okay, but he went into the closet with me and I was holding this measuring cup up to my clothes and thinking like, would it go with this dress? Would it go with this dress? And, and Ben has like a really artistic side to him. Like he, he's so great with color. Um, the guitars are his, like if you, if you don't know, but he just has a really good eye. I love his style and I, I like that we can bond over that. Um, but he went into the closet with me with measuring cups that we were thinking were a similar color and actually putting outfits together. Um, that was how I was trying to decide if this bag was right for me. So yeah, little shout out to my wonderful husband. Um, because he ended up getting this bag for me, I was able to get this bag for myself. We went to our one of our favorite Italian restaurants in New York and then afterwards uh, we went to the Bottega Veneta store. This was my very first Bottega handbag. Well, I did get the hobo that I showed in my mini bag collection. I got that first. It kicked off my obsession with Bottega and I was able to get the teen Jody size. I have done a review for this, but it's a phenomenal bag. It holds a ton. I think that my review might be one of like the few really positive teen like uh, size reviews. What am I saying? I know that a lot of people don't love this bag. They find it fussy. They don't like the zipper. It is kind of a bottomless pit. So having a pochette in here really helps. I love it. It has some drawbacks. So like I would caution someone if anyone asked me if it was good. However, I clearly love it because just a few months later, I ended up getting myself a second one. This is the space color. I actually had it ordered because they, they didn't have this style in any of the local boutiques. So yeah, I, I got the, um, getting tongue tied already. You know what I'm saying? I ended up getting a second one in this space color and I'm really glad that I did. I will caution you that Sometimes the knots, because these are all individually made, they're individually tied like by a person, by hand, all of this weaving is done. Um, sometimes the knotting can change, it can really vary bag to bag. So this is like the tiniest thing, but I mean, clearly we are all handbag obsessed, so that's fine. This one looks a little bit different than this one. And for some reason I prefer the, the fondant. There's something about how it slouches because of how it's knotted. So just something to, to keep in mind. If you're feeling like the shape looks a little bit funny, just maybe try a different bag in that same color. Moving right along to one of the bags that I try to talk about as often as I can on here, okay? Because it does not get enough internet love. This is the Mini Acide back to like the mini bags where like, this is not at all a mini bag. So this is the Mini Acide from Velextra, unlike the Peekaboo, so it doesn't have this a divider, like it's just one big open space. I have put a mini uh, water bottle in here, it holds a ton. 
And the nice thing about Velextra is they actually use light leather for the interior, so you can easily see inside. Like even with their black Velextra, it still has that cream interior, so you of course want to be careful with keeping it clean, but you can easily see inside it. I did just recently change out the Twilly. This is a Carolina Herrera one, and I love the colors. I used a Christian Dior one for the longest time, and I feel like this one really pops. My most recent handbag purchase, this is of course the Gucci Jackie. I think it's my only bag with silver hardware. I love how casual this is. I'm glad I went with the uh, the blue canvas like while the style was still available. And I am gonna do a full review on this very soon. I've had it enough where I feel like I have a good idea of the things I like about it, maybe some of the things that will bother some people, but this is a really great style and I am considering adding a pebbled leather version. like. Clearly, I know what I like when I like it because I want to double up, but they come in a smooth leather and then they also have like a pebbled leather. I prefer the pebbled leather over the smooth. I promised myself that this wouldn't turn into like a mini review for every single bag, but just so you know, I am thinking about like the green or the black pebbled leather. Ben loves the red. <laughs> he thinks it is a really beautiful classy bag, but I don't know, I just, I feel more drawn to the other ones. I like the red, but ah, I, I don't know. They're all great, but, but I, I am glad that I picked this up. Next up, another brand that really doesn't get a lot of internet love, and I, I don't know why, except just like some others seem to have the hype, and, and this one doesn't. It should though, okay? This is of course the Mark Cross Grace bag. I also have this Mark Cross basket bag. I love that gingham. I think Amelia Liana has this like with a different, um, with a different leather pattern, but I like the gingham and these both went in the 50% off sale. I pretty much never buy two handbags at once, but with them being pretty reasonably priced for luxury handbags to begin with, and then a further 50% off, I couldn't help myself. I hate buying any kind of luxury piece online. It feels very weird for me just to click away that amount of money because normally holding something, like that's how I know it's right for me, but I had been stalking these online. <laughs> like I had been stalking this bag for weeks, okay? When they finally went on sale, I just figured this is meant to be. I, I have to have these. And I am still looking at a couple Mark Cross bags. They have their 50% off sale, I wanna say like twice a year. Last year I noticed that they started with 30% off and I, I didn't see any stock changes. Like things were not moving. Um, So they ended up bumping it up to 50% off and then, Maybe something sold out, but even then really not so much. Um, I love, love their feather bag. It is ridiculous and it looks like a Muppet, <laughs> but I, I love that feather bag. I can't justify the full price. So I'm telling myself if that goes in the sale, I, I might consider it because I, I do really, really like it. Just two more bags to share with you. This is the last full-size Chanel bag I ever bought. And this is of course my Tweed 19. Funny thing about this, I, I love this handbag, absolutely no regrets, but the funny thing, okay, I had been debating a Lady Dior for months. I had been going into the boutique, wearing all these different outfits and just like trying every single color, debating between the small or the mini Lady Dior. I love the brand and I love the bag. I was trying so hard to make it work for me. And I would go into the boutique thinking, okay, this outfit will feel right. Like then everything will mesh and I'll feel really natural using it. I'll like the way it looks on me. And I just, ah, I never did. I, I, I don't know why I was trying so hard to convince myself. And I mean, literally trying for months because I did love the bag and I still love the brand but it didn't feel right. So I went into Boston one day thinking, I'm gonna go into other boutiques. Um, I don't know why I'm chasing this bag so hard, but I'm gonna go into other boutiques, see what I like, see if anything jumps out at me, because I had already saved up the money. And I went into the Chanel boutique on Newbury Street, fell head over heels in love with this Tweed Chanel. I'd never really liked the leather ones. They're fine, but they just weren't exciting like for me. So. I wasn't expecting to ever get a 19, but when I tried on this tweed one, it felt so right. It went with my outfit. I didn't feel like I had to try that hard. It still, I still feel like it goes with absolutely everything. One of my favorite bags to use in the fall and winter. So 
Yeah, less, lesson learned. I, I should not be chasing a bag, but this just really made it so obvious that the Lady Dior wasn't working for me, and I shouldn't try that hard if something like this immediately feels right. Final bag to share with you. This is actually the very first luxury handbag that I ever bought. I got this in a consignment store and when I saw it, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know the brand. I just thought it was the most beautiful handbag I had ever seen. And this is the Tom Ford, I think it's called the T-Class bag. They don't make this exact style anymore, but if you look up like flap style Tom Ford bags, a lot of them come up um, where the hardware is a little bit different. I think this bag is like one of the most beautifully constructed bags that I own. But it's kind of it's kind of unfortunate because I, I have to admit, I don't reach for it all that often. I've learned in the last few years that I do lean more cool toned and this is such a warm, rich caramel brown. Like caramel had a moment, right? What, like when Chanel had their caramel and everything was caramel this, caramel that, okay. And I still love this bag. I, I even like the color, but I don't buy those warmer tones anymore because I know they don't work for me and I don't reach for them. I like this with white and I like it with like plain denim jeans and a white shirt. But even when I'm wearing that combo, like I'll reach for one of my green bags or my Louis Vuitton monogram, like even my elephant. To me, that's like if I'm wearing an outfit that's just this perfect, just blank canvas, I reach for those bags and, and not so much for this. But Every time I pick it up, I still have those same feelings where I just think, wow, the construction is amazing. It feels like such thick, heavy leather. Tom Ford is not valued enough. So I can't imagine selling it, partly because it is my first bag and very sentimental. I'm very silly in that way, but also Tom Ford just doesn't fetch enough on the secondhand market. So I'm thinking, would it even be worth the hassle of selling? But this feels to me like a Celine quality bag, like better than a Celine. But if you like like the Triumph style um, or the classic uh, Celine, maybe check out Tom Ford because you can definitely get them at good prices secondhand. But yeah, just uh, such a beautiful bag. I, I don't reach for enough. It is probably one of my least used luxury handbags, even though I still think it's beautiful. And really, I would love to know actually, what was your very first luxury handbag? And do you still use it? Did you notice that similar shift where you learned a lot about your style when you started buying luxury handbags? Maybe it was because like the stakes were so much higher. I don't know, like with spending that amount of money, but I have been playing a lot more with my fashion. Maybe it's just because I'm now 30, but I've learned a lot more about what colors suit me, what kind of styles I love. You'll notice that actually I'm looking around. This is the only bag in this category that doesn't have a top handle. So I'd only wear it on my shoulder or crossbody. It's a very different color to like any kind of bag that I've been buying recently. So yeah, I, I'd love to know, like, did you notice a similar shift from like your very first luxury handbag to what you're buying now? But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.